Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, that guy here, just bringing you a gun review today. Um, today, I figured, you know, I'd go ahead and I'll let you guys know about the Stag Model 6 Varminter. Um, I know on Stag, you know, on their website, they got it for roughly around $1,100, $1,200. And uh, I actually got it from a company called uh, Smith Outfitters here in Steubenville, Ohio. And um, he gave me it for like 900 and some change. But anyway, let's get down to the stats of the gun. Uh, for starters, I felt you know that this video would be appropriate just due to the fact that Stag did just get shut down a couple weeks ago. You know, got their FFLs revoked for whatever they did, something about not filing something right or something like that. But uh, anyway, so uh, first off, the gun does not come with the PRS stock. It originally comes with the A2 style stock with uh, the trap door. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the A2 style stock. I like uh, just a lot of adjustments and also just look so plain so because of that I got the PRS stock attached this ran me uh, anywhere from 150 to 200 dollars uh, of course you know the adjustable cheek riser uh, adjust the shoulder length just an incredible sturdy piece to no wobble anything one of those lines just super solid but so I know stock uh, when the gun comes in it uh, weighs roughly around 10 11 pounds with all the attachments and everything I have on it, you know, it probably weighs about 13 pounds now. So it's a nice, solid gun, but super heavy, though. Nothing you want to carry around all day. Uh, it does not come with a scope, mount, bipod, nothing along those lines. I just added those all on. Uh, right now, the scope, it's not a very good one. You know, cheapy scope, temporarily, but so far, it seems to be running just fine. Now, uh, we'll start with the barrel here. This does come with a 24-inch... Uh, 410 stainless steel bull barrel with a 1 8 twist. Um, it does have a what is it? Yeah, an 11 degree target crown on right here. Uh, as far as the accuracy goes out of this thing, I mean, I'm not a very great shot, and I'm shooting probably groups of 10 rounds about that big at 100 yards, 150 yards. Just an incredible gun. And Stag even gives a guarantee that you can shoot a five inch group at 100 yards with this gun. So for sure, unbelievable gun, but um, it does come with uh, the Hogue free floating uh, handguard right here. It's nice and comfortable. I was thinking about swapping it out for a rail, but as comfortable as this is, you know, stays warm, doesn't get too cold, and uh, also as heavy as the gun is, there's no real need for a rail. It's got the bipod adapter. That's all I need. It also has uh, the Hogue over molded uh, hand grip. Nice little finger grooves right here. It's, it's pretty comfortable. I can't complain for sure. But um, as far as the, the bulk carrier group here, it is an enhanced semi-auto BCG. So uh, it also has a magnesium phosphate coating. Um, I'm not going to lie, I don't really know what that means, but if it has anything to do with the accuracy or the durability, cool. I'd probably put about 2,000 rounds through this gun. Haven't had a problem with it uh yet hasn't jammed once anything along those lines i don't clean it as much as i should uh i should probably clean it you know more often definitely um it is chambered for five five six um you could run two two three through it but i feel you get the most accuracy out of the five five six round um i tried 55 grain wasn't a big fan of the accuracy i was getting out of it i i feel like i get the best accuracy out of the 62 grain for sure um just a little point of comparison here I have a seven millimeter magnum round right here you just look at the difference between these two rounds I mean th this this bullets about the size of a, a lighter this is just such a small round so it's you know with that regular AR you know you're not gonna get much recoil out of it but with this thing I mean you got the bull barrel all this weight added on top of it the recoil is just non-existent so you can just sit there pull the trigger and just stay on target all day um, it does come with a 10 round magazine and a hard case, uh, some manuals, you know, lifetime warranty, which I should probably contact Stag with uh, them being shut down. What's going on with my warranty? But it does come with a standard 10 round mag. Um, I'm not a big fan of this mag. It's uh, I've tried uh, lubing it. It's just really stiff mag on top of that. I have problems feeding. So with that, uh, I went ahead and got a Generation 2 P mag, 20 round mag, and uh, this thing's been flawless since I've run it. And I'm gonna say 1500 rounds gone straight to this. I don't use this very often, 
that would be that's the only real gripe I have about the gun is uh, did not like the mag at all. And once I put the PRS stock on it, made it a little bit of a hassle to get it back in its case. You have to angle it correctly and whatnot. That between that and the scope, um, I have the Nikon M223 uh, scope mount on here. I just liked it for you know the look. It's I think it just makes it look really solid and just nice. Um, right now, as far as the scope goes, I believe this is the Tasco Varminter. Uh, not like I said, not a great scope, but it's I get pretty good groups out of it right now until I get the money for uh, you know a better scope. Probably gonna get a Vortex. Um, the bipod I have on here, it's, I don't even think it's a name brand. I got it for like thirty bucks at a pawn shop, and I mean it does what it needs to. So um, I do have. Uh, it did come with a low profile. Uh, gas block and it is a uh, direct impingement but like I said I've just not had a single problem with this thing I mean it's just absolutely flawless gun um, I went ahead and I was contacting Smith Outfitters letting know you know I want an AR I definitely wanted something for accuracy though you know so I was looking for 20 inch barrel 22 24 inch barrel see what he can get me and then uh, he contacted me and uh, just showed me an image from Stag and he's like is this something to what you're looking for I was like yeah you know, that's pretty close and then uh, he contacted Stag and uh, got me the gun, and he cut me a pretty good deal on it too. So I gotta thank him for that. I'll go ahead and uh, put a link to his website in the description below. And uh, even if he doesn't have, you know, a particular gun that you're looking for on the website, contact him. He'll probably go ahead and see what he can do about uh, getting you guys hooked up. But that's all for the video. If uh, you guys feel I left anything out, uh, make sure you put that in the comment below. Also, um, if you guys just have any questions, looking uh, to see another gun in a future review, just let me know what gun you want to see. I'll see what I can do about uh, getting my hands on and doing a review for you guys. Uh, thank you.